Stephen, I feel breathless. What did you make of that? I thought it was a really good tactical battle of two very good sides that both want to play football. And, um, you know, I think in reflection, probably the 0-0 is the right result. I thought there was very few chances in the game. Um, the only disappointment was that, you know, for the last 18 minutes when they played with 10 men, we couldn't capitalise on that. But I was really pleased. I was really pleased with lots of aspects of our play. You know, and there's things sometimes that's overlooked, and I said this in the dressing room after the game, you know, every week Thomas and McCurdy seem to receive praise for, you know, their, their uh, attacking prowess and their ability to, to score and create. But they were crucial to the way we played today. Their tactical discipline was really, really important. And a lot of their work will have gone unnoticed tonight, but I said to them in the dressing room, that is really important if we're going to develop as a team. And I was really proud of them in that respect. So it was a really good um, organised performance, but against a very good side. A very good side that had been in the making for three years. So I was pleased with aspects. The other great thing for us is clean sheet. You know, I want us to play attack and fast football, but also our defenders, they need to gain confidence and they'll gain confidence from tonight's performance. So a lot of good things. You know, we want to win here at Brunton Park, but I thought, especially in the first half, we created some really good moments on the on the counter-attack. Am I right in saying that the way you set up tactically was similar to Saturday and that use the pace in the counter-attack makes sure we stay solid? Yeah, slightly. You know, I, I wanted us to be a little bit more aggressive on the press at times. Uh, we kept our shape really well, our discipline was really good, but I felt when we could press and then jump press, we, we could have done it more often. We didn't. Um, that was the one thing I spoke about at half-time, that we needed to be a little bit more aggressive on that. Um, but I was pleased, and, and you, you can see some of our counter-attacks in the first half were, were really devastating. You know, Thomas fell up, you know, I thought Jack Bridge was outstanding tonight, breaking from the middle of the pitch. So, you know, a really, really um, strong performance from us in terms of the work ethic, the organisation. Um, yes, as I've said, we want to win these games, but I think we, we took a step forward tonight. Have we just seen an example of the work that you said that's going on to, to get the team used to the way that you want to play this game? Yeah, you know, we're showing signs. You know, I think we've only lost once now in our, is it once in our last four? Um, is it once in our last five? Once in our last five. So we are showing some signs of consistency. Two draws, two wins and a defeat. But I want more. You know, I want more. I want us to, to keep uh, progressing. I want us to, to, to not be satisfied with one defeat in five. I need more than that. And we, we all want more than that. But I'm seeing a group of players that are absolutely applying themselves. You saw two players tonight come down with cramp. You know, and, uh, and I think that in, its, in itself tells you how hard they two work. What will it take for us to take that next step? Because we've seen it against Salford, we've seen it here again tonight, that it's almost there. What's the next step? It'll just take time, and I mean that. I know some people don't like to give you time, but it will take time. I keep saying that. Um, we work really hard. The players are working really hard, you know, but it does take time. And, uh, you know, as long as I keep seeing that type of application from the group, that type of determination... Um, then I have belief will progress. What's a gaff a real reward for what he did on Saturday? What was the thinking behind that? Well, I think that, you know, in the performances that he's made, he, he's done really well. And I thought he was excellent again tonight. My only criticism of him tonight, and I said to him at half time, was his boots. He slipped several times the first half. And I said to him, You're a defender. That's not exactly what I said to him, but <laughs> I said of that, You're a defender. Studs, you know. These are the things, I tell you this, when I was young, if I had done that, I'd have been in the next day running and running and running. Uh, times have changed, unfortunately. But I thought it was very good tonight. I hate asking questions about the officials, but it's part of the job that I have to. What did you make of that performance from, from the referee tonight? I thought he was poor. I thought he was poor. I thought that he made a lot of wrong decisions. And I think also that, well, he was consistent. I've said this before, I just don't want to tell you what sort of consistency he was, but he was consistent. Listen, I was really disappointed with him tonight. 
But I've said this before, I don't think he is. I think he's been in the leagues for some time. But my complaint is that, you know, us managers, us teams, wins for us are as important as wins for Manchester United. You know, but to take all the officials of our league and promote them up to support the best, what they say is the best league, is, is unfair. And we're suffering from it. A real confusion over the sending off. I think he'd forgotten that he'd given an initial yellow card in the first half and that led to you getting a yellow card. What was that all about? I'll be honest with you. Mick Mill said something to me and uh, I was laughing in the office after it. He got me on the fish hook a little bit. He did. He said something to me and I wrongly reacted, but I had a wee chuckle with him about it at the end, so it's all forgotten. We've just been talking about it there. We don't know what the yellow card means right now. We're going to look into it. It's what it means for yourself, but it, it is a frustrating night when decisions seem to be constantly going against you. Well, I thought that tonight. You know, I thought that there was some really disappointing decisions tonight, but... You know, that aside, you know, I think our players, you know, showed a, a really good determination and, you know, I want to focus in on that. Massively important that we build on this at the weekend again. Of course, and a great game for us at Bradford. You know, a, a really good footballing stadium, a big support. It'll be, a, I would imagine, a, a game that will bring a large travelling support to. And we have to continue our run. We've won our last two away games and I want that to be three. We're certainly going to have to rest up because the, the players' exertions was huge tonight. And we'll have to make sure we're ready for the weekend. And there is no doubt that you want to be doing it here at home as well. Tonight's an example of that and you just want that win to come. Of course. You know, and it's really important, I keep saying that, to, to entice the supporters back. We have to win games here and we have to play the type of football that they want to come back and see. You know, I thought our performance was very strong in many respects tonight, but unfortunately we just couldn't find the winning goal. Set back for Canice, what's the latest with him? Well, we'll hope that he'll train, you know, in the next couple of days. He's still got a little bit of swelling in his ankle, but hopefully he'll be fine. Home debut for Gethin Jones, he's certainly showing the fans what he's about. Again, another really controlled performance. He gives us real good speed down the sides, you know, and, uh, you know, it's a position that he hasn't played too often. But he's, he's been really assured in his two performances thus far. And that's one from me, Gaffer. What's the mood in the dressing room after that game? It was very good, actually. I think they were very pleased with their performance and efforts. A lot of tired bodies out there because the one thing about Forest Green is they make you work hard. They u use that ball extremely well. But uh, I think a lot of satisfied players there today. Yeah.